Hey y'all, Riley from Gadget here. Today I want to show you how Gadget makes it really easy for me to edit an existing Shopify connection and change my API access scopes or quickly import additional models. So I've got a Gadget app set up here. I've granted it read and write access to the product scope and I've imported the Shopify product model. But as it turns out, I also want to be able to read my order information to do some additional processing. Gadget makes this super easy to do. There's this edit button in the top right of our connections page. I can click on that. I can give myself read order access and select the order model to import. Press confirm. You'll notice that reorders was added to our selected API access scopes and the Shopify order model was imported. Now, if I do go to sync, you'll notice that there's missing scopes and missing webhooks. So this is because I need to reinstall my app on my development store to grant the additional permissions for the newly selected scopes. So I'm gonna go to my Shopify partners dashboard, select a store, go to the partners connection, which is my dev store name, and this will bring up the auth page again and when I click update, I should get a successfully installed message. And if I go back to my page here and click register webhooks, everything is registered and now I should be able to sync my order information. So if I go to my order data, voila, my orders are now synced. So this is just another way that Gadget makes Shopify app development really easy and really quick. If you have questions, feel free to check our docs or join our company Discord. Happy hacking.